Welcome to my DIY home solar setup. This is a very small setup. It's basically a test bed for me to learn everything that I need to know about solar. I was able to purchase some used components from a friend. On the roof I have 2x260 two watt panels, so a total of 520 watts. Effective production on a sunny day is about 300 to 350 watts in full sunshine. And on a day like today, we get like 80 to 100 watts. That's the best if it's really overcast. Let me show you how my setup looks. So first, up here, this is the charger. It's a one solar 40 amp and PPT charger. To the right, I have a low voltage disconnect module. This one will disconnect any loads that's uh, currently disconnecting any AC or DC loads if the battery falls below a certain level. Then here the electronics box. From left to right is the fuses for the PV. So the solar come in here, that's the fuses. Then this is the surge protection. This is just a DC breaker that connects the charger to the rest of the system. Then the watt meter and the AC breaker. This here is the DC fuse box uh, for DC consumers. That's just a 12 volt car fuse box for small consumption. I connected the cutoff switch or the low voltage disconnect, I connected that to a 20 amp because the 20 amp is the maximum that this board can drive. That is also connected to the DC outlets here below the battery box. This one is the battery box and here are the DC outlets. On the left hand side DC 12 volt outlets. On the right hand side, normal 220 volt outlets connected to the inverter. Then further on the right here, this is just uh, a fuse to protect the wire. This is a 16 square millimeter wire and a 80 amps fuse. By the way, the wire I'm using from the solar modules all the way to the charger, so through here through the box and to the charger, is six square millimeters. Then the wire going from the charger to the box to the DC low module here is 10 square millimeters. Then from there to the inverter is 16 square millimeters and from the inverter to the battery is 25 square millimeters. Coming to the inverter, this is just some no-name inverter from Lazada. It's rated at 1500 watts continuous, 3000 watt surge. Uh, costs about 5000 pesos. It's a very simple device, non-intelligent. The connection to the battery is fused with a 125 amp fuse. There I connected a piece of bus bar. That is a piece of pure copper. That's good for 150 amps. And in here we have a battery. This is the battery. Four cells Sinopoli. These ones are also used and Parts I was able to buy cheap. Have an active balancer here that's always connected. And then a smart BMS with a Bluetooth module. Here's a Bluetooth module on the side. So this one, this battery has a capacity of about 80 amp hours or a total of about 900 watt hours. 
on the roof, I am using two used Heckert 260 watt solar panels. These panels I was able to purchase for cheap from a friend and they are fairly old. They even have been imported from Europe, but they still work fine. These are polycrystalline panels. They work well with my current setup. Like I said, it's 260 watts per panel, 520 watt total. They are connected in series. They put out about 60 volts on a sunny day. And I get about 300 watts for a few hours. For those of you interested in the schematics, I drew the schematics here, as you can see. The PV input comes into the fuses. Those fuses also work as switches, basically. You just can pull them out and then the PV is switched off. So two P fuses, they also parallel connected to ground discharge in case of a search, to a search protection. PV goes into the controller, into the charge controller. Then the charge controller is connected through the DC box to the battery and to the inverter via a 40 amp DC breaker. The 12 volt DC box is connected to the inverter and the inverter ultimately to the battery. To the left you can see that I've been using six square millimeter wire from the panels to the charger, then from the charger to the 12 volt fuse box, 10 square millimeters because there is maximum 40 amps. Then from the DC fuse box to the inverter, 16 square millimeter wire because here we will never have more than 80 amps anyway. And then from the inverter to the battery, I'm using 25 square millimeter wire because here I might have up to 100, 120 amps, hopefully no more, because the inverter can put out the continuous 1500 watts. The inverter then is connected to the watt meter and then through the solid state relay to the AC breaker with ground leak protection and then from there goes to the various AC consumers. I also have a DC outlet that's also connected through the low voltage disconnect board which can handle up to 20 amps. So this is fused to 20 amps. And that's how simple this setup is. Thank you anyway for watching and thank you for showing interest in my simple and small little solar setup. I hope you can gain something from this video, learn something and have fun with your own solar system.